So I'm going to start by making five photographs uh, into a fading in and out slideshow. Uh, these are five pictures I've imported to my library already. The first one I'm going to use is this picture of Big Bend National Park. And I'm going to go ahead and start by naming my layer Big Bend. Now, what I want to do is make my picture the exact size of the stage. And if I look at the properties, my stage is 550 wide by 400 tall. So I'm going to remember that. When I go to my library and pull my picture out, it's too big. I'm going to make it under properties. If I don't see the properties, by the way, click on the picture. 550 wide by 400 tall. I can also make sure that it fits properly on the stage in terms of its placement on the XY axis, right? Whenever I move this picture around, you can see the X and the Y changing. So moving it around changes that. If I just put these both to zero, then it centers it up perfectly. Now that I have it like I want it, right size, right position, I'm going to modify and convert it to a symbol. And I'm going to call it Big Ben. Because that's what it's a picture of. I'm going to make it a movie clip, and I'm going to say OK. Each one of my photographs is going to have three keyframes attached to it. And they're going to be 20 frames apart. So I'm going to have one at 1, one at 20, one at 40. So I can go ahead and build those now. 21, 20, insert a keyframe, 40, insert a keyframe. Now it's going to start invisible. It's going to fade in, and then it's going to go back to invisible again. So at frame 1, I don't see the properties here yet. What I can do is click on the photograph, and now I see the properties of that. Uh, under color effect, and if you don't see it, you can just twirl that. Pull alpha down to zero. At frame 20, it's uh, back up at 100. At frame 40, I'm going to click the picture and pull alpha back down to zero. When I throw a tween on that layer, I select the whole layer and I insert a classic tween. It's going to do the thing I want it to do. Fade in, fade out. At this point, you're going to make new layers. My new layer right on top of that is going to be for Moline Lake. That Moline Lake picture is going to come in at 40, so I'll insert a keyframe and drag the picture over. Again, I can go to my properties, and I can change my X and Y axes, and I can change my width and my height. And it's perfect. It fits right exactly where I want it to fit. Then I'm going to modify, convert it to a symbol, call it Moline Lake. I forgot to name my layer. Let me go back and do that. And that's going to come in at 40. It's going to tween by 60. I'm going to have another keyframe at 60. And I'm going to have another keyframe at 80. So now that it's a symbol, at frame 40, I can click it and I can change my color effect to alpha. Excuse me, alpha to zero. At 60, it's going to be back up to 100. At 80, it's going to be back down to zero. When I throw a tween on that layer, and then it does exactly what I want it to do. So now when I play it back, Big Ben fades in, fades out. Moline fades in, fades out. You're going to continue doing this with your other three photographs. You're going to start the next one at 80, and then it's every 20 frames, so 100, 120, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and skip for a little bit. I'm going to pause the video and skip ahead to having all five of them done. So I've gone ahead and put all five of my pictures, and when I play it back, they're going to come in one at a time. Just like that. Uh, just for reference, it is every 20 frames that a keyframe occurs. So on the Big Bend layer, I have a keyframe at 1, 20, and 40. On the Moline Lake layer, your second layer, you've got a keyframe at 40, 60, and 80. On my third layer, my Parthenon layer, it goes 80, 100, 120. On my Sydney layer, it goes 120, 140, 160. And on my Tivua Island layer, it goes 160, 180, 200. And each time it starts with my alpha down to zero, and in the middle the alpha comes up, and at the end the alpha goes back down. So when you play it back, you should have five photographs, one at a time, fading in and fading out for 200 frames. When you get that finished, let me know and I will give you a grade for it.